Here's your rocket report. First up, Gilmore Space Technologies got the green light to launch their 82-foot rocket from Queensland, Australia. Watch the skies, mates. Meanwhile, North Korea tested its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile on October 31st. Tensions are definitely sky high. Virgin Galactic is hunting for a cool $300 million to fuel their suborbital space planes and a new mothership. Talk about reaching for the stars. Over to Europe, the ESA finally broke its silence on Themis, their reusable booster project. Better late than never, right? SpaceX gave the ISS a boost with a cargo dragon docking just a day after launch. Smooth move, SpaceX. Russia launched a Soyuz rocket with satellites, including two Iranian ones, to monitor space weather. That's a busy sky. Japan deployed a defense satellite on an H-3 rocket for quicker military ops. Go Japan. Rocket Lab's chasing military contracts and the next Starship flight is just around the corner. Exciting times ahead. China's updated Long March 9th looks like a Starship clone. Coincidence? I think not. And finally, SpaceX's iconic tripod test stand in Texas is saying ta-ta. End of an era. That's your rocket report. Please like and subscribe for more space goodness.